Okay. Implant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's take the hat off. Okay. Oh, this is dope. I'm just about to go in there raw. I'm not about to put nothing on, man. Take this bandana off. I want you to see that. That looks that looks raw right there. Okay, I was looking for a game that I can play besides The Division. Something exciting, something familiar. Because I love The Division 2's tactical gameplay alongside its ability to create unique builds. And when I saw this game called Off The Grid, which is currently in early access, free to play, only like 23 gigs on PC. The way that they explain the lore and the trailer of how players die, how they come back, they give logic in that. First of all, who would sign up for something like this? <laughs> Apparently, these people volunteer to participate in this huge 150 player arena. But in order to do that, you have to sign some waiver and get all of your limbs cut off. Then get these cybernetic implants, which are considered talents, by the way. You have different types depending on what you want to play. Like there's something called the Ripper Arm, where it has a knife on it and you lunge towards somebody. Ram, where you could just completely ram into them and destroy them then you have something where you shoot out poisonous gas and it permeates the area like a status effect and each arm has a talent so you can have one poisonous arm and then the other ripper arm and you have legs which offer you a speed boost they have legs that increase your jump height so there are all of these different combinations that you can do and that doesn't include the mobility and tactical gunplay that you see so i'm going to ask the question that i ask in the thumbnail is off the grid the division 2 killer but just hear me out because off the grid is an upcoming cyberpunk themed third person battle royale and when i say upcoming that means it's in early access at the moment you can go download it right now but it merges the gritty realism of tactical combat with the futuristic dystopian world and first of all i love dystopia the game that i'm developing is based on like a dystopian theme and i just love that post-apocalyptic dystopian future vibe and this completely encapsulates that. But it's set in a neon lit city and it offers a rich narrative driven experience where players can take part in PvP and PvE missions. Now I played this for hours last night. Okay. And the PvE is not really as prevalent, but it's definitely PvP. And I'm going to let you look at the trailer at the end of this discussion so you can see how they present this. Because when I saw the trailer, man, I immediately got hooked into it. Just how hype it was i'm like man come on please be good please be good because i want to play something right now i'm not playing anything right now i was talking about playing ghost of Tsushima or Sekiro, but i think i'm feeling a shooter vibe but you can participate in these pvevp missions simultaneously it's 150 player based and it's focused on high stakes survival by the way you can put armor kits in your body to protect yourself more and I must tell you, this is intense. And the lore is kind of like corporate espionage. And they say you have to make impactful choices that shapes the course of the game world. Now, granted, this is an early access, so there's only one mode available. And they say this is unlike typical battle royales. I have something to say about that, but let me just finish. They say off the grid puts a major emphasis on storytelling, allowing players to influence the world around them through strategic decisions and alliances. I didn't see all of that in what I've played. Like I said, it is early access, so it, it might be more. And that would be so awesome if they added some sort of story and some sort of campaign. Like, I know people love Battle Royale games. They even have like a ninja skin that you can purchase. Of course, you guys know who Ninja is from Fortnite and other Battle Royale games. But this is a heavily driven Battle Royale where they have the, the circle that closes in once time gets less, increasing the pressure. 
you drop down from an airplane to a certain spot. You gear up with weapons and cybernetic arms and legs. And with that, you decide what build you want. So you have to find these pieces to cater your build based on how you want it to be. Saying that this is a Division II replacement is kind of a stretch, right? But there are similarities to it because of the combat style. They both have a tactical third-person shooting vibe. So you get that feeling when you're in that mode, of course. And then you see like the jetpacks on his backpack is reminiscent of the Division II with the guns as well. There's not a cover system, but you can crouch and slide. There's team play, definitely, and strategic engagements. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? This is funny. You have to be careful because when you're dropping out of an airplane or if you're falling from a tall distance or whatever, you can activate your jetpack. If you don't activate your jetpack and if you fall just on a free fall basis, your cybernetic legs break off. Oh my Anyone got spare legs? Mine are gone. Armor plates depleted. Installing drivers. The hammer. <laughs> and you can see him right there in front of you. You're crawling on the ground and you have to wait like 10 seconds in order for it to reattach. Once they reattach, then, you know, you're up and running again. But I've seen some people actually crawling around and I'm shooting them on the ground. It's hilarious. Another thing that's awesome about this is that if you're precise, I had to turn my sensitivity down because I'm using mouse and keyboard. And of course, it's really difficult to aim when it's really high sensitivity. So I put it down to about 50 when I'm aiming down sights and I wasn't trying to do this, but I was aiming at somebody's arm. Bro, you can shoot their arm off and disable them. So you can completely disable their talent on their arm, whatever they're using. Got your arm off. This is still got me. <laughs> this game is crazy. Man, you can shoot people's hands off and you can disable their skills. Let's say they're using a, a shield. There's a shield wherein you can put up this cybernetic shield that blocks all damage or most damage. You can't shoot while this shield is up. Pack when I'm high up. Downloading driver. Alert. I'll take Bounty it. Bounty on your teammate detected. The kinetic shield arm installed. Yeah, it's arm do. <laughs> so just imagine if you disable that arm mid-combat and they try to use their shield they can't i think that's awesome I, I remember i did it in one of these clips i'm like oh your, your arm is gone i got too excited then he killed me because he still had one arm left but these mechanics are dope they're definitely dope and the game's combat system is just dynamic in general you can be on a rooftop right and there are people on this game that are a lot more skilled than i am they will come and jump on a roof, kill my teammate, and then jump off the roof, jetpack, and then grappling hook back up onto the other side, which that is a thing. There's a cybernetic arm that has a grappling hook. And then after I think he's gone, he appears behind me because he used his Spider-Man maneuvering to, to do that. This exactly happened when <laughs> there was like this PVE mission that I was doing during the match. I destroyed this mini chopper and it dropped all of this epic gear and i'm like yes okay so this is how you get the epic gear it drops it down as soon as i got it i see this guy come up behind us and attack us he kills my player he downs my player down and not out is a thing actually disappears off the roof i'm like okay i scared him away because i hit him up with some shots as i begin to revive my teammate he comes behind me and kills us both i'm not at that level of skill yet and this game has only been in early access for 24 hours or so but I think that this could take the attention of players from the Division 2 because of the similarities and just the fact that it's tactical, third person, it has like a, a build element to it. And honestly, it drew me in when I saw it. Look at that trailer. You'll see for yourself. It's crazy. I mean, this is what a lot of people have been craving, a, a third person shooter that's exciting. But here's the thing. Once again, it's an early access and we don't know if there's going to be a campaign, which I would love to see being able to use these different cybernetics in certain missions and they said it's story driven and has some great lore so i'd have to see if once the full game is released that's really what they're talking about at the end of the day these are my final thoughts okay when it comes to battle royales i have a specific taste i like structure in my games you do have loadouts that you can prepare 
but I don't know how much that affects you when you drop down into the match for the first time, depending on which mode you're in. Like in a warm up, you can come in with your loadout, but if the main mode doesn't allow you to come in with your loadout, there's a lot of inconsistency in my mind. I like to have my build ready to go so I can know what strategy I'm going in with. Am I going in with a status effect approach? Am I going in as a tank? What am I going in with? When you play battle royales, you drop in, it's unpredictable. That is fun for a lot of people. It's intense. I get it. People love that concept, but I want more structure and battle royales aren't really my thing in that way. I really liked the idea of last stand and survival in a division too, even though there was the unpredictability of what build you would make, but there was more of a build up. You know, you didn't really encounter much smoke at the beginning of the match. You had more time to cater your builds as you found them throughout the game. And I also thought this was going to have like some type of last stand feel where it was PvEVP. And in last stand, you can go in with your build. You knew what you were getting yourself into. But this is literally like a battle royale. Any standard battle royale that you'd see, that's what it's like. If you played Call of Duty battle royale, that's what it feels like. It's just a different skin. You have the cybernetic arms for your talents and you have the legs, you have the different weapons. And they do have some nice weapons that range from all different categories, SMGs, shotguns, snipers. And I've only played this for a couple of hours, so I'm gonna dive back in so I can see if I could get better. <laughs> because I was getting bodied a lot. I need to fix my sensitivity a little bit and just get the feel for it more. And hopefully they'll have modes when the game releases that have a bit more variety and offer something more concrete for my liking. But I just wanted to give you a review of this game. And to answer your question, it doesn't kill the division, but it is something good to play while Division 2 is in this dry state at the moment. If you're not really feeling it, come over here and try it out. Anyways, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Have you played it and are you going to play it? And don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel if you feel inclined. I'll see you in the next one. Be right out.